going on? It's Mike. It's Dan. And it's Yi. I'm Tian. And uh, this is our OTGW Food Adventures. I think we, we broke a promise. Yeah. As we said, we weren't going to do any more Korean places. Promise you guys we on my life. <laughs> no, come on. This Don't do the, that. This is the Don't, last yeah. Korean place we're actually gonna do. But it's a really unique place, so we thought we had to share it with you guys. But also, hey, we got a new, uh, we got somebody new here. We brought her because she, uh, she loves Korean. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, we're at Miss Korea. Um, this is in uh, Koreatown in, the, you know, Manhattan. Yeah. And this is the only Korean place that has three separate floors, That's whereas right. each floor serves something a little bit different. That's mm -hmm. right. They have multiple floors, so we're gonna try cuisines from a couple of different floors. The first one is really unique because it's like royal imperial cuisine that we're told, and we're gonna have two really unique dishes that they serve um, close to what they had 600 years ago. So there's some incredible cool dishes we're going to yeah. show you guys, mainly uh, about the royal cuisines. We're really excited about that. So, uh, but, there's a couple, but there's some other dishes that we're going to try that's unique to this place as well. Well, can I just yeah. say that um, if someone tries to poison us, it's okay because we have bronze eatware. Yeah, okay. they told us that it's supposed to like get rid of toxins uh, and some sort of poison. I'm going to teach you a word, Mike. It, it's not eatware. It's called uh, flatware and plateware. <laughs> just, just let you know, just let you know. Thanks, man! <laughs> so guys, we're gonna try some of the barbecue first because they have a uh, really unique kalbi. What is unique about it is that it is marinated in this clay pot. This came from Korea, and check this out. So the kalbi short rib is marinated for 48 hours. That's two days inside of this. And I asked them, I'm like, you, they actually marinate it inside of this and they bring it out that's as right. a portion. So that's gonna mm. be cool. Look at that meat. I read on their oh menu that they use really, really high quality meat. Yeah. Wow. That looks beautiful. I mean, it just looks awesome. It's been marinated for 48 hours. So, yeah. Oh, I can smell it. It smells I really know. good. I know. This is torture <laughs> watching it, but not being able to eat it. Oh my god, oh. I love that. I'll shield you. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> Throw yourself in front of her and catch the oil. <laughs> oh, oh, I just got some on my arm. Oh, that could have been on your body, Yi. That's what a hero does. Shields you from the oil. Okay, I'll give him that. Ooh, look at that char on there. That looks beautiful. I am so hungry. I'm, I'm claiming so hungry. half of this meat. Mm. Just kidding. I can't. Look this that. looks amazing. Let's eat, let's eat, let's present eat. Present it in a nice way. I can't eat barbecue in a graceful way. Whoa, what are you doing? You didn't you didn't oh, do no. the you didn't do the lettuce. I was gonna do it with the kimchi. Oh that's good. What? <laughs> oh, she's trying to be a rebel. This is probably the yeah. thickest cut yeah. I've had in all the places and, and really I like tender. it. Yeah? Really tender. Let's try. Yeah. Uh, it's try really this. tender. Alright. Try the bean paste. It's been sitting in the sauce for 48 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. It's getting mm -hmm. dramatic up in here. Oh no. Oh, look at that perfect char. Whoa. Oh, they know what they're doing here. Look at that. That looks so good. And they, they definitely wanted us to try the pork belly because mm. it's, it's great quality Berkshire pork belly. And it's, they just do you know, it. You know what they really said? Good. You know what they said? They said, just taste it. Enough yeah. said. I, I love pork. It's basically bacon. It's bacon. It's bacon. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It looks like Canadian bacon. It does. It's like a double it's, thick it's cut. It's not as red as Canadian bacon. Mm. That's true. Is it ready? Yeah. Oh, nice! Dig in! That looks great. Look at that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's I do it. Cool. Thank you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just going to walk off. Oh, smell it. Mm. Gonna eat oh, it. It's Love so that hot. porky smell. So mm. hot. Love that porky smell. Oh, wow. yeah. I need it. I need it. That's it's really, like, really nice. Belly? It's an Ooh. oversized bacon. Oh, my God. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Why is this so good? Mm. Wow. This is so good. It's got a lot of flavor in this. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. The more you chew it, the more the flavor releases itself. Yeah. Mm. They weren't kidding. I mean, it is, it is really flavorful just by itself. Mm. Here's the glass noodles. Nice. I love wow. myself some Japanese. This is the first time try? glass noodles I'm having with shrimp. Really? Mm. Mm. Usually it's beef. Yeah, you, you know, everything here is all fancy. Yeah, yeah everything's all like, fancy, you know, fancy. Yes. Um, take some you know, seafood and yep. uh, expensive things in here. Okay. Take some glass mm. noodles. And this definitely keeps in tradition with like the whole theme of the um, restaurant, as in like, Japchae is still used oh. in like large banquets, like festivals, and they used to be also part of royal cuisine. Mm. And it just tastes good. 
Chap chai is one of the most delicious dishes, I think. Mm. It's really good. The seasoning is so good. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that God. egg. Look at that meat. The first video I've seen with the meat is not the thin sliced one. It's oh, yeah. It's like steak. Mm. That's good quality, yo. Mm. Good quality. They should do it like this all the time because mm. a thin brisket is good, but I feel like it's a little, it could be tough to chew sometimes, where it's like, this just melts. This is really good. The meat is really, really good. I always hope that they put calvi into the, um, the, the bibimbap, but very few places do it. Because it's more expensive. Mm. That's true. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. What is that? It's oh, my like, God. Look at that shrimp. Tofu the shrimp is, oh, oh, my God. The tofu is really good. It's so, wow. mm. it's so tender. Mm. It's so good. It's amazing. It doesn't have that like you know when seafood food isn't done well, mm. you can have that kind of sing like mm. I don't know how it's what, it's like too seafood. Oh, like a seafood taste, right? Yeah. Fishiness. But this one is like oh yeah, it's fishy. That's right. I think that's usually when the seafood is not fresh, mm -hmm. it becomes very sing. Yeah. I'm gonna try the spicy one because I eat mm. the fastest of all you. The spicy one is so good. Mmm. Mm. It's really good. This eh? has some kick. This has. <clears throat> this got some kick to it. Yeah. Mmm. I love the little um baby shrimp in there too. They put a big shrimp in oh, there and so then the cute. baby shrimps. Yeah, I have like this giant shrimp in my other soup. <laughs> uh, the spicy tofu broth is really good. Yeah. Mm. Really nourishing, it's spicy, it's savory. I really loved it. Oh! That looks awesome. Wow. What do we got in there? Okay, we got cuttlefish. Yeah. yeah. What oh, else? We got you, pork belly. Bacon, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Green peppers, sesame. Yes. I see, uh, I see the traditional yes. Korean uh, spicy beast. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh my. How is it? Oh my. Mmm. Guys, you gotta get that dish. That is legit. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor. So good. Flavor explosion. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. It's so good. And uh, take this to go. Um, wow. I can tell you're gonna come back and to this. eat it at home. Wow. Mm. You know why I like mm. this? It's mm. the perfect rice dish. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, is this a rice cake? Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a rice cake. Rice rice cake. cake. Rice yeah, cake. it's a rice cake. This dish just got even better. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's so beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, I see pine nuts, like two of them. <laughs> Dips. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. guys, this is, this is a type of dish basically there's eight compartments, actually nine, nine compartments. Yeah. Including this one. Including yeah. the one in the middle. So traditionally, like all of the different district heads would gather together and, and this would symbolize each district and they would kind of offer their stuff. Input. Input right. on the country. And then they'd all put it in the middle and it would basically symbolize, you know, like unity. Harmoni, uh, like harmonious. Har harmonious, oh, you know. Maybe that's country. why we're putting everything in the... Exactly. Together. Oh, I get it now. Exactly. You know? Maybe eat yeah. the harmony. Oh. Yes. And then, yeah. And not to mention, it's so healthy. This, this like, it's so good. It looks good. really healthy. It everything does. is... Hey, it's time up, time up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the, 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 the pot. Oh. Uh, this is like, they say the only the emperor and the emperors yes. ate this. Okay. And, and they, the emperors ate it because it was so nutritious. So, this looks amazing. Guys, check this. So we're gonna put a little bit of everything in there. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I'll go ahead. A little bit of everything. Grab a you sauce. can't fit it already. You only put two things. You're gonna take up your whole pancake. Mmm. 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 This looks so good. You're putting yeah. too much, man. Is it too much? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna be uh, like. Uh, the worst construction of that thing. <laughs> and I'm going to roll it up. Roll it. Oh dear. Good luck rolling that. <laughs> oh look, we, we left all the little nuts for you. Yes. <laughs> it's mine's like a taco. <laughs> <laughs> Korean imperial tacos. <laughs> New invention. How is it? Mm, it's really good without the sauce too. I no, like it. No. I can taste every individual different thing, like the mushroom, the smokiness from the mushroom, and then like you have the like the savoriness of the beef is so subtle. It's like if you don't pay attention to it, you'll miss it. You know, and the different textures. Mm. And I love the flavor of the wheat pancake. I mean, it's like awesome. it's almost like a mini like <coughs> mini <laughs> dough pancake. Dough pancake. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> 
Yes, our descriptive abilities are only getting stronger <laughs> no, no, but, by the video. No, no, but seriously, like, <laughs> these, are, these are amazing. Like, they're, oh. like, these pancakes are great. Mm. This broth mm. is amazing. Wow. Mmm. This meat pancake is so mm. good. Mmm. Ah, this meatball is really interesting. <laughs> interesting? Whoa. This is a potato. What is that? Oh, the it's a chestnut. Oh, I thought it was a potato. Mm. Whoa, this meatball is really in interesting. Whoa, this broth is phenomenal. It's really savory. Mm. Really, really shin. Mm. Umame. Umame. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of our wonderful meal at Miss Korea. We had some great dishes today. What was uh, some of your favorites? Um, I really like this, the meat. Yeah, this Colby was great. The pork, the pork belly. Yep. We had, we had, um, you know, we've we've had a lot of similar dishes at um, other Korean restaurants, but I feel like the ones we had here definitely had some special things that stood Especially out. Especially the royalty dishes. The royalty mm -hmm. dishes, of course. Oh, remember, you can only get the royalty dishes on the second floor. That's this right. This is a three-floored restaurant, so basically right. every floor serves different dishes. Mm -hmm. So the royalty dishes you can only get on the second floor if you're here for dance. My favorite is the um, pancake. It's the uh, nine region. Emperor's dish, dish, yeah. I mean, I really loved it. I've never had anything like that. Like you guys were saying, usually at Korean places, you know, it's pretty heavy in flavor. Mm. But that one was so different, and I and I like that. So. Well, I really like this job chain. Yeah. Job chain. Yeah, this thing. Oh, I really ha like how the flavor is so infused into every noodle. <laughs> every noodle. Every little noodle, and it's like it was very. Um, I've never had it warm, so this is actually my oh, first time eating right. it warm. Okay. Very good. I like uh, I like the clay pot. Uh, Kalbi. Kalbi. That was really delicious. I also like the pork, but um, I'm just in general less a fan of pork th than beef. I love beef, so the beef was my favorite. And then my second favorite was the pork and the squid cooked on oh, that dish. Oh, that's right. That was oh, a great. That, dish. that was oh, yeah, amazing. That was Stir fried squid. So yeah. that that would be like that. And then the third one would be like the the. the the, it's the stew that we had in the, the fancy pot. Oh yeah. Um, it's actually called, um, what is it called? It's, it's called like a, like a stew of immortal. Yeah, oh, yeah, the, the divine stew. Yeah, yeah. 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 Stew. Well, definitely taste it. It was doing something <laughs> great to my stomach. All right, guys. Well, this is definitely our, like we said last time, but this is a Swissers. This is our last, last Korean, Korean place. place. At least for Mike and I. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, all our last food adventure for me and Dan as well. Uh, exactly. So, so yeah. hope you guys like this series. Uh, and we'll Bye. Bye guys!